Now, so in this section, we want to talk about cropping videos and how we would do it. So one of the most common mistakes I see with people when they go to start creating their own videos is when they take videos, they take them in like this. So they have their phone and they take the video like this. And what happens is when you do it, you get the shape. If you look at your computer screen, it's more than likely a shape like this. So you want to always take your videos in this landscape orientation. Okay, I have two videos here. So you can see here's one video that I've taken like this and another video that I've taken like straight up like this. Okay, now since Snapchat has come in and the likes of these um, sharing applications, people tend to take videos like this and that's grand. If you take videos, that can happen. But if you want a video and you want to put it into an iMovie or create something with it, you nearly need to make sure that the video is taken like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to deal with it if you did happen to take a video in one of the orientations that we're not talking about. So I'm going to go into iMovie here. And I'm just going to create a new event just so we can talk about it. So I'm going to click on my movie library and I'm going to create a new event. And I'm just going to call it cropping. And what we'll do is I'm going to then import the media. So I'm going to go to import media. I have it on my desktop. I took the two videos and I put them on the desktop. So I have movie clip one and movie clip two. So I'm going to select them and I'm going to go to import all. And it's going to put the two of them in. So you can see it has the two videos in. I'm going to scrub across them just to show you. The two videos are the exact same. They're roughly about 20 seconds long. One is in landscape orientation and the other one is in portrait. So you can see here the two videos. Very same location. It's not sunny Portugal, it's Ireland on a summer's day. I know it doesn't look like that, but it is a summer's day here. So we have right across here, so you can see that's what it is. Okay. So just going back, the you could see there, there was a small clock there. And what that is, it's the video process, and like we learned in one of the other ones. Now, what we're going to do is we can create a new movie. So we can just go to File, New Movie. We're in a new movie now. So what we'll do is I'm going to drag in this one. I'm going to click on it and I'm just going to drag it down into my timeline. And you can see that if I play it away, I'm actually going to put the noise down on this. There's quite a lot of wind noise there. It was a, a river bank. So I'm going to put the, the volume down on it and I'm just going to play it through. And you'll see I'm going to put it into full screen for you and I'm going to play it then. So you can see it's just a video of a uh, river bank going right the way along. I'm going to press escape just to get back. I'm going to bring my volume back up a wee bit just so you can hear it. So you might be able to hear there now. So it's, it's very windy. The, the wind noise is there. And you can see that the video on that screen looks perfect, okay? It may be a wee bit shaky, but it's filling the full screen. Now if I take this other video in, so it's the one that I shot in portrait. I'm just going to click it and drag it in to where we have it here. I'm going to play it on. So I'm going to go back a wee bit on the playhead and I'm going to play it in full screen mode and you'll be able to see. So it's going to get down to where the video ends and it's going to cut into the next video now and you can see what happens straight away. So this is called letterboxing. Okay. And what letterboxing does is it puts these two black boxes in straight away to fill up that screen space. So your screen space is, there's a couple of different words. That was probably quite noisy there because I had the, the volume on. My daughter was actually with me when I was shooting these, so she was shouting in them too. So this letterboxing, the reason it does, so years ago we used to have a, a square TV. So it used to be just a great square TV. And a lot of computer screens are still like that. So it's four by three. Nowadays we use more maybe 16 by nine. So 16 by nine is like the shape of the phone is like that, okay? So it's more of a wide screen area. Now what happens is your phone, if you take a video like this, it can't put it into that shape. So what it does is to compensate for that, it puts these black boxes in. Now you'll often see this on Facebook or YouTube or different things that you might have this great video that you're after taking and you can look at it on your phone grand. But once you try to look at it on a television or anything like that, this is what happens. So it gets up with the black boxes. So what we want to do is we want to look and see how we would get around that and how we would do that. So just be aware that by doing this, you are going to lose a wee bit of the top and bottom of the video because in order to get the space in, we have to remove a bit from the top and a bit from the bottom. 
So I'm going to click on the video in question here. So it's this video that we have here and you can see it's, it's showing me a preview in the mode. I'm clicking on it and if we go up to the cropping options up at the very top. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it. So it's the cropping options here. Once I click on cropping, it's going to give me options. I'll zoom in to let my screen actually see it. Okay. So at the minute it's crop to fit. So you can see fit is selected here. And what fit means is it just fits the actual screen. If I go on to crop to fill, you'll see now it's given me what looks more like a screen size. And what we can do is we can make it a wee bit bigger. Okay, getting the focal points into it like that. I'm going to leave a wee bit of a black line at it because we don't want to just have a small area of the screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this blue um, tick box over the right hand side and then I'm going to zoom out and now I'm going to let it play. So I'm going to go back a wee bit on it. I'm going to put it into full screen mode and we're going to play it along. You'll see it happening because the black lines will still come in. Do you remember the way I left them black lines? But you can see you haven't got as much of a black line area. I'm going to take the black lines out of it now just to show you the difference. I'm going to click on crop and this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it to there and to there. Now you can see how much of the video that you are losing but what I want to do is I want to make sure I have the main focal points in it so the mountains there in the background would be the main thing that you want to focus on so you can see. So if I click on it I'm going to go to full screen so we can play it back. It's going to play the video back for me You'll see it going from one into the next. And you can see now that we have the video there. Quality of it's not the same, but you can see you, you now have a video that fits into your full screen mode for you. And you haven't got them black lines at the corner. So it's a thing that people um, come across constantly. They might have a video of um, somebody at a birthday party and they want to put it into a movie to play on the TV. And if you were to do it the way we're, we're doing it, it would put the black lines on it. But by using this wee trick, what we can do is we can make sure that we get the actual main points into it and you can salvage the video. If you are taking videos for a birthday party or anything, do try to make sure that when you're holding it, you have the, the camera like that and you're holding it up to, to make sure that you're getting the same shape. Think of the shape of your TV screen or your laptop is, is that kind of a shape. It's never like that. Um, and again, this option is just for someone who has a video there that they want to salvage and do it. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that.